Hi, we're the University of Strathclyde Eco Vehicle Team, and in this video, we're going to discuss the key changes we've made to our design to improve the efficiency, reliability, and safety of our prototype battery electric vehicle. Last year's steering design was bulky but effective. This year, to improve it, we have moved it to the side so that it's less intrusive, and we've also made some efforts to reduce the weight. Ahead of 2020 requirements, we have decided to incorporate a pedal system into the brakes. The key issues with our bodywork last year were the manufacturing of the moulds and the service finish of our carbon fibre. To improve on this, we're going to have CNC manufactured female moulds, which will help with the accuracy of the, the translation from 3D model to reality, as well as the service finish of our carbon fibre. Another issue we had is our warped windows. This was due to hand forming with a heat gun. We aim to have CNC manufactured moulds to vacuum form over. This will help avoid any warping in the material. This year, electronics will be improving the efficiency and safety features of our motor controller design, following our move from 4 to 8 to 36 volts in pursuit of better efficiency. Iterating on our previous design, we will be updating the firmware, adding extra current sensors through external modules, and adding an extra board of capacitors to reduce transient currents. In terms of battery, our goal this year is to create a more modular design. The battery will be split into removable modules for each parallel branch, meaning we can easily replace faulty branches and change the shape and configuration of our battery if needed. For the first time, we're developing a telemetry system to record run data, such as throttle values, speed, motor controller data, and system faults. A custom CAN bus protocol to link the nodes of our system and a driver display are also under development. This is the chassis that was manufactured for last year's competition. As you can see, it was made using 40 by 40 aluminium extrusion. Because of this, we ended up with a very strong chassis, however, it became very heavy due to the weight of the bars. So the aim for this year is to reduce the weight substantially. We like the modular aspect of the extrusion, so we're using 30 by 30 millimeter instead and combining the design of the roll bar we made in first year to attach to the bars. Even though we've chosen a thinner bar, we've proven its strength using finite element analysis to a sufficient safety factor. This takes what we've learned from our previous models and combines them for what we have proven to be a superior design. So that's the plan for this year. Everyone in the team is working really hard to ensure that the car is going to be ready for the competition this summer. 